Hi everyone, Darren from ILN Technology. One of the principles of optic fibre is called total internal reflection. How it works is light waves travelling from a dense medium to a less dense medium, like water to air, speed up at the boundary which makes objects appear to bend and get distorted when we look at them at an angle through water. This is called refraction. We get the same effect if we stick a light source like a laser pointer under the water and aim it upwards. As we tilt the light, we get increasing angles of refraction until we reach a point called the critical angle where the light reflects off the undersurface of the water and back down into the water. At that point we have what is known as total internal reflection. Optic fibre works by taking advantage of the same effect except by using two different densities of glass instead of air and water. The core in the centre of the fibre is a fairly dense glass surrounded by a less dense glass cladding. Outside of that we also have an acrylic coating and then often a strength member and an outer jacket, but it's the core and cladding where the magic happens. The less dense outer cladding uses total internal reflection to continually guide the light along the fibre. And it still works even if the fibre bends. Unless we bend the fibre too far, which is called macro bending. At that point we've lost our critical angle and the light starts refracting out through the side of the fibre. That equals data loss. Here's a simple experiment you can do at home to show total internal reflection in action. All you need is an old fish tank with a couple of inches of water and a splash of dead oil or milk to add some cloud, and a laser pointer. Ah! So starting out with the laser pointing straight up, we're getting no real refraction or reflection at all. As we tilt it, we start seeing some refraction, which you can kind of see where the laser's hitting the ceiling towards the top of the screen. Until we reach the critical angle where the light reflects off the water surface and back down into the water, and also off the bottom of the tank. As we play with that angle, we get lots of pretty zigzags until we get past the critical angle again, and it starts refracting back out of the water surface. You might notice there's a fair bit of reflection going on, even though I haven't gone past the critical angle. A lot of that is due to the sheer power of this laser pointer, and it's a cheapie off eBay, so there's a lot of scattered light coming out of it. I've had to turn the exposure on the camera right down, which is why it looks like I'm in the dark here, but otherwise we'd just be looking at a big green blob. So there we have it. Total internal reflection in action. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and click the subscribe button below. You can also check out Dintech's Lightlinks range of optic fiber products at www.dintech.com.au. I'll also include a link in the description below. Please also check us out and follow us on Facebook and Twitter under the Dintech Australia name. Thanks and bye for now.